Even allowing for the fact that we live in a world of remarkable scientific achievement, we certainly come across some strange looking contraptions in our travels. This one, called a phaidometer, is, what its name implies, a machine for exposing samples of material to artificial sunlight to see if they'll fade. Just one of the complex pieces of equipment used in research at laboratories of the Retail Trading Standards Association. It may seem rather drastic to cut up brand new dresses, but it's in a good cause, the customer's protection. Each sample having to undergo stringent tests for color fastness, shrinkage and strength. And arising from this backroom research, many traders have been prosecuted under the Merchandise Marks Acts for giving false descriptions. The housewife often has to buy something quite expensive with just a preliminary examination. And if the label in the shop is inaccurate, she could be literally throwing her money away. Here, a carpet is dissected to ascertain the percentage pile and to examine the backing, both of which have an important bearing on the carpet's wearing qualities. Strange how people love watching the rain. Well, this is for testing resistance to showers. Water penetration is measured to decide whether a suitable rain-resistant finish has been applied and whether the fabric itself is of suitable construction. If your children have a habit of playing tug-of-war with their scarves or bedclothes, you'll obviously want something pretty strong. So let's introduce a machine that tests a fabric's tensile strength. Although, quite seriously, it's quite possible that a cloth with too few threads or with chemically damaged yarns may not be able to withstand even normal wearing strains. To simulate ordinary wear and tear on furnishing fabrics, researchers here use an abrasion machine which will wear a hole in most fabrics and certainly determines how hard wearing it is. For certain knitted materials, such as underwear, that can't really be tested properly by stretching, a contraption is used for gauging its bursting strength with the aid of a balloon under the fabric. Yet another of the ingenious measures being taken today by scientists to protect the man in the street.